Hey guys, welcome to Chat with KSC. I'm your girl Kay, and today we're going to be discussing Kodak Black and a recent um, part of a live piece that was on the blogs that where someone said he should go back to jail and sober up and stuff like that. Let's play the clip real quick before I jump into the commentary. Person, are you just want to? You need to go back to jail and sober up, yak for real, for real, man. How, how and why would you, and why do you feel like that's the answer to my, you know, whatever you feel like? Why do you feel like that's the answer to my, what you come? So, I feel like he didn't want to blatantly admit on live that he was doing drugs. He said, basically, why do you think that that's my, the answer to my, what you call it, right? You mean to your drug addiction? Okay. Um, there are some people who believe traditionally that, hey, people who go to jail, they, they get time away from the world and they get time away from certain things of this world that will wrap them up around drugs right maybe if you're away from those friends maybe if you're around, away from the lifestyle maybe if you're away from the opportunity to ass assess the drugs access the drugs then you won't be able to do the drugs and then eventually you will sober up i think that was the thought process of the fan who shared that opinion now is that a logical thought process who's to say right those are some traditional opinions of those people i think we would call them what would you call them again um boomers baby boomers right they feel like okay you have to you know like that would be an opinion of like a baby boomer like you have to go to jail and kind of do like do it the hard way right instead of doing it the easier way now my question to kodak black is you have all this access right you have all this money you have all this success you have all these different things available to you to sober up right you have all these people available to you you have the re rehabilitation clinics you have all these different things you have things available to you where you can go and start sobering up without the world even knowing that you're sobering up you have all these different things available to you so if you aren't utilizing these things that are available to you right then why are you upset that a fan feels like yo you really need to go to jail and sober up the fan is coming from a point of view of you're not doing it on your own you're not doing it with the resources available to you so you need to unwillingly get drawn to jail so that they can see the best come out of you they want to see the best of you and seeing you on drugs isn't the best of you so in order for them to see the best of you they want you to get pulled from like i said the means to access the drugs the people that are influencing you to uh, um get the drugs and the environment that is influencing you for the drugs they want you pulled and ripped apart out of that situation since you won't do it on your own do it against your will and go and sit down for a little bit now i don't feel like i would condemn the fan for saying it like i said it's a baby boomer thought process the tough love that's what i was looking for that's the word i was looking for baby boomers they have a lot of tough love in them i feel like that's what the person was kind of trying to say you know what i mean and you know what it hurts it hurts to hear the truth it hurts to hear that someone feels like you should go to jail and experience those conformities you you can't move when you want you can't pee when you want you can't do a lot of things when you want to do it on your own accord but i feel like what are you doing for yourself while you are outside? That's the question I want to ask Kodak Black. What are you doing for yourself while you are outside? Are you helping yourself? Are you your best self? Because ultimately that's all your fans want to see is you be your best self. Your fans want to see you perform your best, be your best, make your best music, be your healthiest. The thing is, I feel like sometimes celebrities feel like we, as fans, we're such idiots that we can't see when they're drugged out. We can't see when they're high off of something. We can't see when they're going through their lows of lows. 
And don't get me wrong, you're gonna go through your lows of lows and your highs of highs, and it just it, it's just like a little bit upsetting that it is in front of the fans, but it, it does it it is a bittersweet thing because now the fans can hold you accountable. We see that you're on drugs. You can't hide it. Now go clean up, go sober up, go sit for a little bit and sober up and come back and be your best self for us. Cause that's what we want to see. But do I agree with the fan? No, I don't feel like he needs to go to jail. I just wanted to explain the, the thought process of the fan because he was crying essentially on live. And I just want to explain like the fan wasn't coming from a bad place. He wasn't coming from a hateful place. It wasn't coming from a, a place of, I hate you Kodak. No, it was coming from a place of tough love, you know? Now I feel like what I feel Kodak needs to do is get that rehabilitation that he needs, go to rehab on his own while he's out here and be his best self. But if that's not going to work out, then yeah but anyway that's just my thoughts and those are just my thoughts and opinions it may not be the thoughts and of a thoughts and opinion of the public or the, it may not be the popular opinion but share your thoughts and comments down below i look forward to hearing from you um don't forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll chat next time